Morning everyone, it's Laura the Quarantine Gardener again and uh, I'm reminded of the Nancy Griffith song From a Distance because from a distance this bed as you can see just looks stunning and this is its peak time. However, up close, uh, just to show you the lupins, uh, I know I showed in a previous video the um, aphid infestation and as you can see that's what they've done, they've just uh, defoliated um, or deflowered actually really the, the lupin flowers as you can see there. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to apply a homeopathic remedy which I'm going to show you now. Coxinella Symptomata, sorry you know me uh, Latin there. Uh, but uh, I have used this in the past and found it to be effective. Um, so I'm going to come back to the same pump as a test to just show you. There's the decimation and like we can really see. Now to be honest that's all the casts of the aphids. Uh, the huge colonization. Oh yeah, there's a load there now on that. Do you see? Uh, Lupin. So what I'm going to do is apply this remedy. Um, I'm just going to read it now. No glasses, let me see, can I? Uh, 10 milliliters in 10 liters of, of water. Okay. Um, I've used homeopathic remedies. I did a workshop in the Botanic Gardens about, oh God, it must be 10 years ago. Uh, with an Indian man who's since passed on and whose name I can't remember, uh, who was giving uh, homeopathic remedies and uh, to farmers in India. So for them, it's like life or death. Um, and was having great success. And at the time, there was one borough in London that banned glyphosate, and that was 10 years ago. Uh, complete Roundup free, and they were using one of his remedies. Now, like I say, I found the aphid remedy in the past really good. I had less success with, uh, I think, the slug one. Uh, but I'm going to come back next week just to see, uh, again, just to show video evidence uh, if this works. Because, I mean, it's it's really, uh, yeah, important. Anyhow, I'm going to stop rambling. That's it. Apply the remedy. Like I say, 10 litres uh, or 10 millilitres. Is that it? 10 mils. Yeah, 10 mils in a 10 litre can. And uh, we'll see how we go. I'll do a follow-up video just uh, to mark it. Okay. Happy gardening, everyone.